last month my mother called me that um, a man of god told her that there's a girl living with your daughter tell her to send the girl away the girl is evil the girl is this the girl will will, will deal with her the girl is dangerous the girl is possessed blah 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 i mean i didn't really believe all these kind of things hello guys thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel so guys still on the missing 1000 euro nollywood address lizzie gold has finally found the cctv footage of that particular house help of house who stole a 1000 euro to prove that she wasn't just accusing her for nothing she also spoke about a prophecy that came earlier on to her about the girl and how destiny Tico also advised her to send the girl away take a listen while you are taking guys do SD, um video. let me Thumbs make it clear share it i read so some comments and then some people said story. maybe do i was maltreating her video that's why she left special. some said and if you are maybe new to this i did channel, not pay please her don't forget to click first on the of all i'm glad i don't know how to maltreat someone i'm never around and to my two subscribers thanks for always being there for you she's the one managing the home she has my atm card so whatever thing food and in the buying she's in charge so guys sometimes you, you say um she wants to, wants to buy on this she wants to do this she wants to buy a sandal i just say yeah with the atm collect money and buy you know stole the money her money for i paid her half when she came like end. she's been with me for like months and she, she said that she helped her keep her money that she would like to do business so she helped her keep her money once it's time i can add money to it you know and open a business for her which is a good idea you know and i liked her so because she knows how to take care of my kids like if you see my kids they're so fresh fat fine you know i like fat kids you know so i really really liked her but was it um last month my mother called me that um, a man of god told her that there's a girl living with your daughter tell her to send the girl away the girl is evil the girl is this the girl will 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 deal with her the girl is dangerous the girl is possessed blah 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 i mean i didn't really believe all these kind of things so i told my mother that i beg i don't believe in prophecies you know i just believe in going to church it's not like i don't believe prophecies but i just feel that there are not so many genuine men of god so you know even even caused issues between me and my mom my mom was like i should send her away i told my mom i will not this girl is taking care of my kids for me do you understand so I didn't listen to my mom my mom said she will not visit me again until that girl leaves the house that she's not comfortable with the girl that even when the girl came to worry to spend christmas with my kids that she wasn't comfortable with the girl's spirit that there's something fishing about the girl so i told my mom that that girl hasn't done anything to me as long as my kids are okay are fine it's very difficult to see somebody that your kids like you know it's very very difficult to see somebody that can take care of your kids like i told my mom that well as long as they are okay so the girl kept staying in my house so two weeks ago i had a nightmare i had a dream i hardly dream but if i dream whatever i see come to pass it's just like like a gift you know that god gave to me you know i had a dream and dream wasn't nice at all it was a nightmare i told destiny the destiny look at the dream i had destiny said i should rush and go and tell the girl to leave it was my it was my stubbornness that got me into this mess you know i didn't want to drive because i was stressed i took a taxi i went to my house okay so when i got there i i didn't know anything i just slept off the next morning i woke her up i told her to have a bath that she should pack her things and leave she was like why i said um that she needs to go for deliverance that um, nobody's above deliverance that there's some spirits you know that's disturbing her that when she's done with her deliverance i'll invite her back she was like okay no problem so um she, she went i put her in a car she went to abba when she went to abba I, w I went back to asaba to continue my work after my production i came back to enugu when i got to enugu you know the house wasn't looking too well taken care of you know it's it's a duplex so it wasn't looking too nice and i guess the stress you know was, was too much for for the other girl because that one is quite younger so 
I said, let me just call success back. Maybe when I see somebody else, I'll tell her to go. So I called success. That's how much I liked her. I told her that, don't worry, come. You can do the deliverance in my house. All right? No, God is everywhere. So success came back after a week. So when success came, she started staying. After like four days, she told me that she wants to go to Abba. That's three days ago. I'm like, why? You don't want to stay anymore. She said um, that she wants to go and I said okay that there's nothing, there's no food, why not go to the market and buy things, you know, then you can leave the next day, she said no problem. So I went to work to fame, I finished quite late, that was around 10 p.m. So I thought, you know, let me just check on them, the kids and everybody to know how they are doing. So I called the other girl, I said give the phone to success, she said success left. I said, ah, but she told me she was going to leave the next day. Why did she leave in a hurry? Mind you, before success came, when I was doing this, my NSPDD prayers, I told God that, God, this one I brought this girl back to this house. If she's a good girl, let her stay. But if she's not good, let her use her mouth to tell me that she wants to go. That's why when she said she wants to go, I wasn't bothered because I already put it in prayers. So I was like, why, why did she leave in here? She would have just waited till the next day, you know. Because I already told her to, to collect her transport fare, you know, and then I would transfer. She sent me her account number. All the money she has worked, I would transfer the money into her account. So when I got to the house, I entered my room. I noticed that my the drawer was scattered, clothes were on the ground. The next thing my mind went to my money. I went straight to that place to check. That's how my money was gone. I didn't see my one thousand euro. The only thing I left just thirty euro. That's what she left. Mind you. She told me to keep her money because she doesn't even have use for money. She doesn't have my ATM card. If she wants to buy anything, she takes money from the card. You know, so so that's that, that's how she left. And the footage of the of when she's collecting the money, I'm going to post it on my story. All right. So I saw everything. She, she can't even deny. Well, like I said, I put people on the case, but if they are not able to get her, I will stress myself. But I will never trust anybody again and for now no other person is coming to my house I'll just be with the other girl that one has been with me for four years I'm so used to that one I trust that one so much you know that's it that's the story of my housekeeper all right so it hurts like I said it hurts because I work so hard for my money somebody was saying that uh, it's just one thousand one thousand euro i'm making noise on social media one thousand euro is a lot of money i work so hard for my money nobody dashes me money every single money i have i work hard for it okay by the grace of god my artist fee makes sense do you understand i'm a hard worker i know the rest so every single penny matters to me okay so stop saying all those things people are saying money is very important Secondly, I try to make life very easy for them. I did division of labor. I have somebody that sweeps the compound separately. I have someone that throws debts away. The only thing she does is just sweep the house, wash plates. The other one looks after the keys. It's not like she does much work. I just try to make sure everybody is fine. You know, and she had to pay me this way. But like I said, I didn't listen to God. He spoke, he, he spoke indirectly to me. I didn't listen. But thank God she has left. That's all I can say. And my kids are fine.